The Cadence ORCAD 16.3 release brings a number of enhancements to Cadence PSPICE technology. One of these enhancements is our expanded cursor capabilities. With PSPICE AD 16.3, you will find a new level of flexibility in how you are able to query your simulation waveforms to verify correct design behavior. New features in version 16.3 for enhanced cursor support include a new cursor window to show measurements, which includes a dockable cursor grid view, the XY values shown in color, the ability to export cursor values to a CSV file, and the ability to copy selected values from the cursor window. Additionally, cursors have been enhanced to allow placement across multiple traces, with customizable cursor widths and colors, and cursor placement across plots. This demonstration will show you how to dock the cursor window, add multiple cursors across traces and plots, change cursor widths and colors, and export and copy cursor data. Docking the cursor window. The cursor window in PSPICE AD 16.3 is now dockable, allowing you to customize your workspace to fit your needs. The cursor window can be docked to any edge of the canvas or set to a floating state. The new dockable window has also been updated to present data in a typical spreadsheet format and includes additional information such as minimum, maximum, and average values over the cursor span for each trace. Cursors across traces and plots. The enhanced cursor window also comes with the ability to apply cursors across multiple traces and plots. Users will often want to view XY values for multiple traces across multiple plots at the same time. In previous releases, designers were limited to only viewing data on traces directly tied to the cursors. PSPICE AD 16.3 enables you to simultaneously view XY values across all traces and plots, greatly simplifying analysis over multiple traces in the probe window. Changing cursor width and color. As you add more and more traces to your probe window, the cursor can often become lost and hard to identify, making it difficult to keep track of what values you are analyzing. In PSPICE AD 16.3, Cursor colors and styles can easily be modified to keep the cursor visible at all times. Modifying the cursor styles is easily done by going to Tools, Options, and then selecting the Cursor Settings tab. Here, you can change the width and colors for each cursor individually to meet your preferences. Exporting and Copying Cursor Data While the probe window provides a very comprehensive environment for evaluating your design simulations, it is also useful to export cursor information into an external tool, such as Microsoft Excel or Notepad, for further processing or documentation. Accomplishing this in earlier releases required a manual, error-prone process of re-entering the cursor data into the external tool. PSPICE AD 16.3 makes it much easier to export your cursor data. Cursor data can be saved off in CSV format or simply copied to the clipboard for pasting in tools like Microsoft Word. This demonstration showed you how to dock the cursor window, add multiple cursors across traces and plots, change the cursor width and color, and export and copy cursor data. Enhanced cursor support is just one example of the many new capabilities in PSPICE AD 16.3 that are geared to make you even more productive and efficient.